Hello and welcome to Chicagoland NC Open. Uh, <laughs> New Hampshire didn't go too well, so hopefully Chicagoland will be a little bit better. I do really enjoy this track. It's a, it's a shame that they've taken it off the cup schedule. And it seems like it's uh, going the way of the dodo bird. It, uh, it seems that way anyway. But uh, we have it here on iRacing in uh, perpetuity, so... At least there's that. We've got a nice strength of field here, I assume, as uh, I'm the number 11. So looking forward to hopefully a good race. Sometimes it seems like the higher strength of field races are even messier than the mid-level ones, but green, green, we'll see. Okay. Here comes your first time lap. I myself will just try to be patient. Long race. Yada yada. You know the you know the deal. You know how it works. Pretty loose here. Uh, I hit the apron. All right, we'll uh, try to get a better lap. On lap two, I don't have quite the speed I want. In practice, I was, uh, I mean, the track is essentially flat out. You just gotta be careful with the looseness a little bit. One more lap. And uh, either I'm running the wrong line, which I've been running across the bottom, or my setup's just uh, not quite up to par. I've got uh, my OSR set up. And uh, right now I've got 100% tape on it for qualifying, so we'll see what brings us, but I have the feeling it's not quite up to some of the guys that have their own really lab-researched setups and all that, so uh, I ran a bit too high up in that corner, but it was okay. Oh, I blew my engine right across the line, that's funny. So that was obviously, as you saw, my best ever lap. And, uh... Looks like your car is <clears throat> yeah, you yeah, 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 the car back. exploded. Hold the <laughs> and we'll, come and get you. we'll get the backup, it's fine. Um, it, uh... What was I saying? Darn spotter interrupted me. Um, we'll see how it holds up. Probably not good, we're already ninth. But, like, I don't know. If there's much else I could have done, I could have gained, like, I don't know, half a tenth by running a little lower in 3 and 4, but, I mean, you'll see the, uh times people are running 30.2 is like how on earth am I supposed to get another half second there, that has to be a setup thing so I don't know um, OSR maybe missed the mark a little bit this week but you know free setup so you get what you get sometimes it's better than others and uh, we only have to finish 11th in this race to meet expectations, so not too concerned. I'll go ahead and make sure that's all saved in the right way. Make sure I've got my steering ratio and everything saved how I want. In case I have to use this one in the future, maybe I try this again or something. So we are pretty slow. Not sure what happened to these guys' laps. I don't know if maybe they're trying to start back there or something. I uh, got a couple people that had incidents, so we got one person on the wall or lost control, and then one person that was off track, so assume, assuming they got loose and ended up in the grass or something. But, uh, people are knocking out their laps, maybe we'll get to go early here. I couldn't <laughs> ride around the track anymore, obviously, my engine detonated, so. But you see we got all a bunch of Division 1s and 2s. Guys that started out um, with a high enough I rating to be put into Division 1 and 2 at the start of this season. So, presumably they've uh, all got some decent experience and aren't going to, you know, destroy us. What am I missing? 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What am I missing? What am I doing wrong? Did I really mess up 3 and 4 that bad? I don't know. Yeah, look at this 306, 307, 307. What on earth? They're all of them right around the same. But I don't know. I don't have quite the setup for this, I guess. Hmm. That's the end of the session. 15th place. Well, we'll be starting uh the back of the mid-pack, I guess. It's kind of where that would be described 
Um, double check the uh, tape because I don't want to explode. And uh, <laughs> we've got our crew chief ready to tell us when to, uh, to hit and such. Or, you know, up on the inside. Uh, how many laps of fuel we have left. Blah blah blah. In practice, we had a nice little overcast session. I kind of miss it. It was kind of moody and nice. I, I liked it. You don't get to feel like you don't get anything interesting like that in weather all too often. I don't know why I'm bothering with all that habit, I guess. But uh, it was like completely cloud covered and it was real shady. And now we got like part partly cloudy skies, but uh, kind of miss like the full overcast. Kind of like the mood of that. That's fine. Maybe it'll change as the race goes on. I think the, I know the clouds move and stuff. Like you can have a cloud cover the sun and then the track will start to slowly cool and stuff, which is cool. It's cool that it cools. Cool. I have such a, an expansive lexicon. Oh my. All these advanced words. Oh no! Number two starters lost connection. Yikes. That was the number one rated guy too. That stinks. Everyone leaving their Fs in chat. <laughs> my throat's a little scratchy. I'm going to get a drink so I don't start clearing my throat and then chasing everyone away with my nastiness. <clears throat> okay, we're good. Got to have something to drink for these longer races for sure. There are three additional sets three sets of tires. I should have... Oh, good. Okay, it still shows. So it looks like almost like the rears are going to be wearing off more. Maybe that's the key. Maybe I just have a long, long run car. Yeah, maybe my car is not terrible. It's just a long run setup. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, we'll see about that. So we got a lot of fast guys in here. I'm not going to get too caught up on uh, not being in the front with my free setup. Just going to try to have a nice clean race. Keep my nose clean. And, uh, I don't know, hopefully we're not too off pace. Looks like a second gear start. And hopefully it'll be some fun. Hopefully we won't have a bunch of wrecks. There's been some weird, uh, there's been some weird races here in the past in Chicagoland because I really like this track, but uh, sometimes it turns into a bit of a mess. I hope that's not what we see here. We are in open, which theoretically is a little cleaner than fixed, which is uh, what I used to run more often and uh, where I've seen races like that. So hopefully it's a little better than worst case scenario. But we'll see. About to go green. It is flat About out, so there might be some aggression and blocking and stuff. At the very least, I hope they are patient with all okay, that nonsense. Green, green, green. <clears throat> Come down. I'll just go ahead and uh, take the little shortcut here. Saved us a millionth of a second, maybe. And all right. Oh, this guy in front of us—he was a. Uh, in the New Hampshire race. It's part of an accident that uh, involved a lot of neck wound. Good. So as you can see, most of the time people are going to be all right up on top of each other probably, so. Try to uh, keep my tires kind of happy. I don't know, maybe the Maybe the play isn't to even lift off. Maybe the play is just to go out and uh, hit the gas, because then you're using the right yeah. rear. We're being taken three wide on lap three. All right. Clear outside, two wide. I didn't really want that, but uh, well, they gotta be in a hurry to get 15th or whatever, so, okay.
Like I said, I don't think we're gonna have the speed to keep up with the fastest guys. We're just gonna have to be using this draft and uh, hope that we have a long, a long run setup and not just a bad setup. Because it's hard to do much better speed-wise when you're, well, flat out the whole time, which uh, we are capable of doing, if not in. First of all, dirty air. We've got some dirty air going on. Second of all. Uh, when you're not trying to be easier on the car, which I am. I'm going to just keep saying car. I know it's a truck. Please don't hate me. Like, <laughs> it's just, I don't want to be thinking about semantics when I'm driving. Please, spare me. Are we going to be taken three wide here? We're not. we got someone who actually uh, is being a little patient. So thank you that. But yeah, not much to do right now except for right around. I kind of want to make sure I don't run a, don't lose this pack. But a little sideways, don't mind that. I'd like to keep up with the draft at least. Maybe help this poor set out set up out a little bit. If I can keep up with the uh, the draft. We'll see. Looks like we're doing fine, though. Looks like we've got some smart racers, which I love. And we had a three wide moment, but to be fair, I am pretty slow. So, and uh, we navigated it just fine. That was a loose moment. That was interesting. Car outside. Keep low. Clear up, They're creeping away a little bit. That's making me a little concerned. We're just we're missing something on the setup, maybe, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. I mean, that's that could very well be possible. I mean, maybe I'm not taking the exact right line. Maybe I'm a. Uh, not keeping the wheel straight enough. There's a couple things I could be doing wrong on my end, too. But even with the draft, we're kind of struggling to keep up right now. Of course, I did have the loose moment. That didn't help either. But Okay. See, guys, uh... Having some push troubles because of the uh, large group of trucks ahead. Seems like the trucks have a big issue, bigger issue than most other vehicles with the push. Maybe not count. I mean, other than you know the cup car, but uh, you do notice notice it pretty well when they get in a big pack like this. Got my 16 to 1 this race. Help me try to keep the, the wheel straight as possible. Brake bias is back to a pretty comfortable level, so that way, uh, if we do have to use brake at any point, I'm not sure we will because uh, the track's big enough to not need it. But uh, if we do, it'll help us rotate. Presumably, if I'm in that bad of a situation, I'm going to want it to be rotating, so. But I uh, didn't overdo it. So that way, whenever we have to go into the pit under green flag pit stops, which maybe we'll have to do here, I'm not looping myself trying to get on pit road. Hopefully, this is going to age poorly if that's what happens to me. But you know, the idea is not put it too far back so that doesn't happen. P15. Okay, Colton. The next car is Bruce. You want to add your oil? and both looking pretty hot right now. I'll try and take it mm -hmm. easy. Getting uh, messages about my temps. Too concerned. Chief's a little, uh, usually a little bit uh, alarmist about that stuff. But uh, keep an eye on the gauges, make sure they're not flashing. If they uh, if they start flashing, I'll start lifting off a little bit more and then getting out of the, uh, the draft. Out from behind, guys, like I am right now. We're still feeling pretty good. It's gotten tighter, but not unreasonably so.
Okay, yeah, look, we could probably get past this guy. I don't want to lose the pack here. They seem to be inching away. I'm going to wait for the right moment. Uh, not quite. This guy says quite. Put me outside. Still there, hold your line. I guess we'll come down here. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there. Not difficult to pass right now, we're all kind of uh, close to each other on the speed. This guy thought about taking it three wide, but there's not enough room for that. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear high. Not taking it through wide. 16th place. You guys going ahead. Maybe the way to pass is on the higher side. That's what I gotta do. That's what uh, worked for the 19 there, so maybe that's what I'll go for. Side here. Oh yeah, that works so much better. All right, pass on the high side, I guess. Let's get last lap up. I know Nick said in this video, and I kind of agree, that uh, the high side in one and two seems to work better than three and four, which is kind of weird because, as far as I know, this track is congruent. But I mean, <laughs> I feel it. I see what he's saying. So, um, something to keep in mind, I guess. Running the high line that uh, last time, though, it makes made the truck feel a little tighter now, though. Maybe I don't want to do that too often. Maybe the seam will help us out getting it turned. Doesn't seem to affect it too much. Not like, um, what was it? Arca at Homestead? That does seem you could really feel, but uh, here not so much. But uh, you assume it has to be doing something. That low line was pretty nice. That got it turning. Almost a little bit too much. Maybe I'll keep trying to do that. Yeah, let's keep it low. I like the way it's turning when I'm down there. I think the draft will be more helpful than cutting the apron there. That looks better. Back running higher. Higher. Well, it seems like higher is a good way to pass, maybe. Unless the guy was really uh, off pace. And uh, that just was a coincidence. I was able to pass him at that moment. But uh, it seemed to work out for me. So I believe, isn't this where we started, 15th? So we've moved back, moved forward, but I ended up all the same. Lap 21. So we're about uh, halfway through this fuel run, presumably, around, around there or so. Very clean so far, I love it. It was a good decision to start driving more open races than fixed races, I think. Nick had a good fixed race here, but uh, that's the exception, not the rule, it seems like, for fixed racing. So I will happily be off pace because my setup's not up to par if it means that we get green flag racing. Because uh, what good does it do if you're fast if you're just driving under caution the whole time and you can't even drive it? <laughs> That's not very fun. This 22 is uh, coming back up on us. They must uh, have saved. Place. Wrap up. 
their tires a little bit, or maybe they have an actual long run set up, and we have a just stinky set up. Go on then, take the sport. Yep. Outside, clear. Turn that. Would like to go. He may go. Probably overdid it on letting off, but I mean we're just gonna have the draft anyway, so. P16. That was like a lot of people are migrating to the uh, top half, the track. Still liking it down here though, on the lower side. I like the way it gets the truck turning. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing here. Just uh, going by what I feel, not just copying other people. Because it seems like we're keeping up just fine, and I got to do what my setup seems to like. Because the vehicles are going to drive differently if they have different setups, obviously. So trying to match someone in an open race doesn't work as well as trying to match someone in a fixed race. We're kind of here, though. I mean, we're keeping up. Just seems like everyone's so even. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not really loose there. That corner. Really had to uh, <laughs> keep it steady. I feel like we're almost reeling in this pack ahead, but uh, probably has a lot to do with them being all stuck to each other. More than it means I'm actually speeding up. We'll see when we get here. Might be a couple guys who are falling off, you know. Uh-oh, that guy's loose. Did he catch it or he hit the wall? Tough pace a little bit. I think he kept it out of the wall though. Uh, off. My high line here. Interesting. I mean, we learned that I uh, probably want to pass on the high side. So, try to get that done if we can. And, uh, high side one and two works better. You so, just done that three. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Gotta run. Gonna use it. Outside. Still there. Yeah, I'm chasing down for five seconds back. You cut me a break. Still there. Oh, oh wait, dude. That's not good. I don't think track. I was gonna clear him anyway. It didn't help. Yeah, they run mine at the spot for the pass. Clear outside. And I have damage. Yeah, not quite. I gave it a go. Yeah, there's, there's 28 spot really this important here. I'm not pushing, dude. Go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, we'll ride a little bit more. See if uh, we get another shot at it. But, uh, we just weren't fast enough quite yet to uh, be able to get by him. The lane's not too bad. I got a little too loose there, but. I like that you can uh, that you have options. It seems like uh, most of the lands, like just about anywhere. Oh, that guy took a weird angle into the corner. That's gonna make him pay. Thanks for him. He had a 
apparently saved some tires because he just came up and passed us, but uh, that's going to hurt. Starts getting real loose now. Maybe I try running that middle line now. Now, 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 now. Pretty much the same, <laughs> not much different. Where are we in terms of our best lap? We are a full almost two seconds off. That's a lot of fall off. So I think we come in about halfway. This seems like a good field. I think we can keep it green. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Got loose. So, uh, maybe lap 39. I think we come in lap 39 or 38 or so. Undercut just a bit. Maybe get ahead of some guys. I almost want to say next lap. Do I dare? 50.3 gallons. Your last lap time was at 32.2. Get a little early. Six is coming up on us. Zach, we've talked before. He says he's a very nice guy. He's apparently been saving tires. He's probably going to make his way up through the field. Got tight, tighter, and then it got. Uh, it's starting to get looser now. This is interesting. Give it to him here. Inside. Still there at the bottom. I think we're gonna come in next lap now that we got a gap behind us. I did practice pitting in, but uh, I don't feel very fast at it, so this might be interesting. Sixteenth place. Might end up losing some uh, time. Fitting in here. The pit window is now open. Pit lane speed oh is my god. Okay, what did I tell you? I jinxed myself. I told you, I told you, I told you. I jinxed myself. Oh boy. 15 gallons. Box in. 5, 4, 3, 2. Yeah, how's that under undercut gonna work now? Jeez. You know, I thought about it too. I was like. All clear. Punch it. Don't hit the brakes too hard and embarrass yourself because you said you weren't going to do it earlier, and then you did it. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. You did it, Thank didn't you? Stay the wine oh, wine. gosh. Let's bring out a caution. That would have been embarrassing. Can't blame the setup on that one. That's all talent, baby. Apparently, I'm really bad at green flag pit stops. This is not the first time my downfall has come on a green flag pit stop, so... Let's, uh... Maybe work on that in the future. Me. I just saw we were almost like two seconds off. Our session best lap, so I figured... 
might be a good idea. Let's give you a little bit of an undercut. Get some crash position. But then we sped. <laughs> we almost sped, and uh, while slowing it down, got all loose. I mean, I, I set my brake bias back, but it's only 57. I should have been able to control that. I think I just needed to be smoother on the brakes. Okay, it's pitting now. So where are we? Uh, we are one lap down, probably? Yes. So, uh, we won't even get the lucky dog right now because there's one guy ahead of us. Lap down. I'm sorry, that was my bad. I got really We would be able to take the wave around, though, on our new tires. But, uh, I'm not sure that's going to be very good if we use them up here for the next couple laps. There's a caution. I still don't think there's going to be a caution. Seems like everyone's doing pretty darn well. So. This is that 22 that hit the wall, I believe. Charlie ended up back. All the way back here. But, uh, you know, I, maybe we didn't lose that much time. I mean, we still will have the benefit of the undercut. And, uh, I mean, it's not like I, uh, Got stuck, turned around too long. It's not an end of the world. Definitely not going to be the same track position we were before. I got to get a penalty. So he's down there. Yeah, hey, uh, that's another thing. At least I didn't uh, get the penalty. I think uh, I would have lost m like more time getting a penalty than I would have uh, doing that little half spin I did. Penalties was what, like 40 seconds. I definitely didn't lose 40 seconds doing that thing I did. So. The lead is pitting now. He's pitting now. We, uh, lucky dog. It's a bit in time. It's a question. I mean, we might not have to be the lucky dog <laughs> much longer. No, we're not the lucky dog. What am I talking about? These guys are for a position up here. So hold on a second. That number six is the guy that was just in front of us before. So maybe what happened here is that, uh, all it did was nullify any advantage I had <laughs> from undercutting. Maybe that's about where it did. Plus, it lose us a couple seconds, because uh, we are still behind that guy. So we'll see where we cycle out after the mistake. Getting right here, guys. Coming up. This race, I have foreshadowed my own demise. Talking about spinning it out on pit entry. <laughs> but, uh, I say that, but like I said, I think we're okay. I think we still can, uh, catch back up to, uh, draft pack. Still do alright. So we got some clean air. It's nice too. Essentially flat out, but like look at this run this guy's getting. They got good setups, man. Might get a little dicey here. We got guys at different speeds that they're coming out of the pits and stuff. My team's flying by us all of a sudden. So where were we? We were like 16th, now we're 18th. Might still be some uh, cycling to do, but uh, not good though, because I obviously came in sooner, so my tires are going to be older at this point. So it did very much hurt us, don't forget, but uh, it was not catastrophic, I guess, at least. What a bright side, it wasn't catastrophic. Wow, that means everything's great then, right? Right. 
gallons. Oh, we're good on fuel. It says zero gallons, and uh, we got a little bit extra. So we're fine. A little bit extra, I mean, as in, I tell my crew chief to give me some leeway. So when he says 0, 0.0, he's actually uh, being conservative. So that means we got enough fuel. basically flat out in the corners and then they just drive by me like I'm sitting still. I mean, part of that's tires, but they were, they were hitting lap times like in qualifying that would uh, indicate that's what they would be doing on their own on equal tires as well. So, I don't know how they do it. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I'm not doing myself any favors with the mistakes I'm making, but uh, it's also a limit to what this truck can bring me, I think. Well, like I said, clean race. It's fine with me. Even if I stink it up. A bit in trouble, though. They're just going to be falling off more and more, I think, yeah, compared yeah. to uh, the other guys. So I feel like we might lose another couple positions, maybe end up like 20th or something. I would be better off running these uh, higher lines, even though it might not be the best line, just because I might be able to keep it more steady. It's like keeping it loose when I try to run that lower line. I don't think I have the skill level to uh, fight through it well enough. I see you gain here, but now I'm getting loose. No problem. And there it goes on the exit. Ends up being about equal, but lower than my amount of stake. mistakes, maybe, running on the higher lane. So the tires. So that just leaves me not knowing what to do. <laughs> just talking to myself here and not knowing what to do. I think uh, we don't have much choice of what we're going to do, and we're going to fall back. So uh, I've performed poorly this race. See, I got loose there, too. Having a rough time, man. Let's see, uh, turn three and four, what's the high side? Higher side, do you like? It wasn't necessarily the high side, I was on the right next to the wall, but. Eh. I don't know. Your lap time was at 32.0. Maybe I'll just uh, go on, keep on up here, so I can keep it more steady. And if it gets tight, maybe I'll go back to the bottom. I'll stay high. But what if I didn't? So indecisive. Because it's just so equal that time, suggested or suggests that uh, it's better off running the high side. But turns three and four. All right, here's what we're doing then. I think we're gonna run high side one and two, left side three and four. Got a guy coming up on us. 
Like I said, I think we're going to lose a couple more spots before this one's over. Didn't see that coming. Okay, so that guy, have you not pit yet? Maybe not. Alright. Interesting. 17th place. That lap was at 32.1. I'm getting loose on the high side. I just can't control this thing, I guess. Level 15, I can see you're much faster. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Your inside. Hey, we'll have some draft. Well, that was thanks for giving room. P18, up time was 52.2. This thing's even more loose than it was the first run. Or I've gotten worse since the first run. <laughs> Some of these guys are right up on me. It's the high side, looks like. Outside. Keep low. <laughs> Barely control this thing now. What's going on here? Is it because the sun's going down? Track temperature is making it feel different? I don't know. I feel like if it got cooler, I wouldn't be feeling exactly what I'm feeling here. <sighs> so much for the draft, I can't even keep up with them. I need to run closer to the wall. Hey, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, last lap I messed it up, so of course it's going to be super green, but it's looking kind of good. The guy behind is now 1.7. I feel like at this point in the run, in the first half of the race, it was feeling tighter at this point. That's pretty strange. I know we spent a lot more time in traffic before. Maybe that has a lot to do with it. Find the wheel a lot more this time around, that's for sure. Thank you, Russ, I appreciate it. No problem, sir. Good race, though. Everyone's being very good. Very good racers. You've just done that 52.1. No cautions. No, I'm trying, apparently. Oh, that guy up there is trying, too. Wow. Okay, we both had horrible trouble that turn. It just kept being sideways. I kept trying to correct it, and it was just staying sideways. Dirt tracking it now. Something about this second half of the race has left the truck feeling so loose. And I'm even trying to run the high side. And it's still getting loose. Keep them more steady. I glue all that time I lost getting so loose that one corner. I might just have to stay up on, on the high side the whole lap if I'm not going to be able to control how loose it is. You might have uh, gotten the wall there. Sure. Or seems more bumpy on the high side. Maybe that's why it's harder to run up there compared to one and two. You got 22 coming fast. It's a lap car. They've got fresh tires, so. We'll have to make room for them, or at least, you know, hold a consistent line. There's plenty of lanes to use, so they'll find their way around. Yeah, I'll zoom on by. 
clear. Pretty big tire fall off. We'll get some free draft here for a moment. Oh boy, we're gonna go left down, aren't we? Just, I can't control the slide when I'm down low. This car's too loose. Too loose! Whenever I run that lower side for a minute and I slide like that, it just uh, gets it for all the tires hot and then uh, makes even the high line feel loose the next time. So it's like it's got an effect, a lasting effect on how the car drives. So I'm gonna just uh, keep to my plan of staying up high, I guess. Almost looks like we're reeling back in this 15. I wonder if they did get the wall in it, uh, hurt their uh, truck a little bit. Or maybe they're uh, having troubles like I am with the looseness. Well, that's not going to help them either. Wall and these bumps. You know, just the wrong way that time. Quite close enough for the draft. I mean, enough to stay up there. Ryan. Oh. It's scary hitting those bumps when you're so close to the wall. It feels like they're trying to launch you right into the like the safer barrier. <laughs> really having to modulate the throttle to try to keep this thing getting sideways, but still not, I'm not even doing a very good job of it. I wonder how much time I did lose through my pit mistake. And presumably I would have been around 16th still, so probably about, I lost about 5 seconds or more. Probably about 6 seconds I lost doing that. Sideways. I'm about to lose a uh, 19th. It's just uh, 20s on his way. He's really riding the wall. He's taking risks. And I could run a little closer, but I feel like I would end up hitting the wall and um, <laughs> I don't think it's worth. Uh, risking that for whatever place I'm in 19th. Especially when I'm probably not even going to be able to keep it anyway. I'm definitely not going to keep it if I do hit the wall, so... So it seems like we're slowly catching the 15. 21 slowly catching us. 5. 5 to go. The lap time was 32.4. Alright, Colton, that time's pretty consistent. Ugh. Fun to drive, though. Still like Chicagoland, even if I'm doing so bad this race. Got a little bit tight there. I think we're starting to get into a sturdy air. I think the 21's gonna reach us before we reach the 15, though. I don't mind the truck feeling a little tighter all of a sudden because it's helping me keep it more steady. I think we might actually be okay. I don't think we're going to get lapped. That could have made this uh, situation brewing at the end here even more complicated. As we're uh, about to get past, or maybe even make a pass. 
And then you want to throw in the leaders trying to race for the win in the middle of that. Obviously, we'd have to get out of the way. Their race is more important, but... Uh, Two more. Let's go. You have about five laps of fuel left. It could get complicated with all the trucks meeting in the same spot. Messed up that corner, and now the 21's here. Inside. We'll fight it, though. Too close to the end of the race to just give it up. Got us clear though, he's gonna come in or in front of us. I don't understand making that risk. I don't know if someone's gonna drive in deeper than you. That seems like a big risk to take. But uh I know not to hit him, and I knew he was gonna do it, so I knew to prepare for it too. But uh you're splitting hairs for uh nineteenth. Seems like a big risk to take. lost all the spots. <laughs> what a bad race. I mean, it was a fun race, but I performed poorly. Wait, 19th? We finish? Did someone have a penalty? What happened there, Hale? What happened? Finished behind us. Hale. Oh, he must have spun and I didn't see it. Interesting. Good race, guys. <clears throat> Still good race, even if I finished very bad. <sighs> so presumably if I lost seven seconds or so, I'd be right about over here. Still not that great. So, uh, just didn't quite have it. I don't know. Maybe it's a setup, maybe it's me, I don't know. But uh, we got our 2x from spinning in all the pit road. We probably lost more than 7 seconds, right? It's pretty bad. And we'll go through incidents. And uh, presumably we'll see ourselves. If we don't, I'll go check on it on my own. See how bad it was. Compared to how I uh, think it was. So Probably not going to be much going on. Other than three wide on lap two. A little bit of net hook contact, maybe. Ooh, struck into the wall, hit pretty good. The apron brings him up and almost hits the, uh, he's at the 16, I think. Tiny bit of wall. We didn't even beat the guy that lost connection at the start. That's really embarrassing. How did he get all the way back up there after disconnecting? He was the guy that disconnected, right? I don't even get the number one car for a reason, I guess. do that. <laughs> Alright, oh well. I guess maybe he got back in before uh, casing or something. I don't know. Crazy. How much going on in the incidents? Because it was a very clean race. We just got the occasional wall hits. We saw this one. That hurt the 22 pretty bad. Mm. Blocking that high lane. Sure, the 14 did not appreciate that. Is he gonna pay him back? Yeah. Just hurt himself more though, because now he took the corner wrong. Hey, that looks familiar. In fact, I already did mine, so I might as well uh, find myself. And, uh, go take a look at it. 
Here it is. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I think I lost more than seven seconds, to be honest. So where did I go wrong? I need to be harder on the brakes. I'm kind of, like, hesitant with it. Here's fine. And then uh, when I get here, but I think, uh... See, so yeah, I'm kind of like dipping below. I think uh, I thought I was hitting the brakes harder than I was. And it wasn't registering as much. And then uh, I wasn't as slow as I needed to be when I got right about here. And I was like, uh-oh. Now i got to full break it. And now that's what's going to send it around. So had I known that we would never need to use our brakes during this race, um, other than for this, I would have left it a default and probably would have been fine. But I thought that uh, the truck was going to get tight, so we need it. So that's a lack of experience to uh, prepare, to ill-prepare for it. I could have practiced uh, my green flag stops a little bit more. I did a couple times, but clearly needed some more. So, huh. Let's see. Yeah, I almost want to say that's like a full like 10, 11 seconds I lost doing that. I mean, that's hard to say. You can't just say that, oh yeah, I would have been up here now. Like, obviously, that's not how it works, but um, that's a good chunk of time that we lost doing that. So, that stinks. And we saw that already. We saw him doing the, doing the pit entry dance. Seeing anything here? Is it gonna get on an exit? No, there's a whole lot of nothing. Maybe nothing. The leader, just blinking. That guy just was not clear. Decided to block the 14 into the wall. This is not the first time that has happened to him this race. That's probably pretty frustrating. He just drives over and hits him. It's a bunch of little baby hits because we had no cautions. Two pit entry spins, including mine. Probably the worst bits of uh, incidents we had this race. Except for that. That's up there. So that's a case where uh, one person expects the other to uh, go down to the uh, apron here, I think, and cut it. And he just wasn't looking. He was anticipating the 18 to be down there in the apron, but he wasn't. No obligation to take that apron, so I kind of have to look out. What did I do? Do anything? Where were the tires at the end of this thing? 6150! Wow! That was wearing so much more than I thought it was. Wow, that's crazy. I would run this completely differently if I knew it was going to wear that way. Not only like the brake bias, but uh, how I was thinking about driving. Like, there's obviously no need to take the lower line. Because uh, you don't need to wear the rear anymore. Like, I, I would go about this completely differently if I uh, knew all that. And uh, maybe not finish so bad. Probably would have, though. Probably just about as bad. But, uh, oh well. Oops, hit the mic. I hope that didn't sound horrible. Um, oh well. Hope it wasn't too bad to watch. They can't all be winners. Um, they sure can be losers a lot. <laughs> that was this time. Not last, and... Uh, you know, at least I didn't wreck anyone or anything, but uh, got to learn from this one and uh, do it a little bit differently next time. And, uh, you know, that's all I got. That's all I can say. Got to do, uh, got to learn from my mistakes in this one. And uh, I hope uh, you have better luck this week than I have on this one, if you give this a try. But uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.